we are now moving from any to all. We're using the same um, same example because uh, we're uh, we're putting you know these uh, these character vex together. So we might as well uh, do that. And uh, you know, last time we saw any, which uh, which sends back a true if anything matches and a false otherwise. And uh, all is going to be uh, sends back true if everything matches and false otherwise. So uh, we're going to make a uh, convenient character vec again, and um, let's say uh, let's give it a name here instead. So there we go. That's all we need to make this. Uh, Super convenient. Uh, this um, this vec of uh, characters. You know, you have this range uh, range notation. So that'll be from capital A to lowercase Z. And then we're going to see. You know, are they all alphabetic or not? Alphabetic. And then we'll print uh, true or false. And so what are we going to throw in there? Let's put in a smaller vec, the vec that we just made. And we're going to make it into an iter, and then we are going to do all. And uh, you know, because iter gives us a, a reference, uh, we are going to match the type, and let's call it character. And then let's say uh, character, and we have this really convenient function called alphabetic that Rust has, and uh, it just checks to see if it's a uh, alphabetic or not you also have like a is alpha numeric and you know that is you know a b c d and all the way up to uh you know numbers as well so anyway let's see uh see if everything is alphabetic or not and over here it says all alphabetic and false and that is because uh in between these two, uh, you have characters like underscore, you have characters like uh, funny brackets or slashes and stuff like that. So uh, not all of them are alphabetic. So we get a false for that. And then we'll do uh, we'll do one more to show uh, that we can compare a character with another one. So let's say all less than the character, and we're going to use the Korean hang character again. And then uh, that's you know that's way up on the uh, on the Unicode chart. It's like number twenty thousand or something. And uh, so it's going to be uh, true because uh, this is all way smaller uh, in terms of numbers. And so uh, smaller vec. What are we going to do? Same thing. Um, let's put it over here so it looks neater. Neater. And then we're going to do all again. And this time, let's just call it uh, x because we're lazy, and we'll say uh, x is less than uh, less than hang inside you know the single uh, the single brackets or the single quotes because uh, that's the way characters are declared. And then this should say this should say true. We why do we have a dot? We don't need a dot. Uh, what is, uh, you know what, I'm going to, there we go. I don't want to look at brackets right now. So there you go. All less than the character hang, true. So that um, is how uh, all works. And one thing to, uh, to note about all is um, it's going to go through the whole iterator and uh, check everything. And so you might want to uh, you know, give that some thought if you are um, when you're setting up a vec. Um, I'll just give a, an example here. So let's say uh, so we have uh, this big vec here, and uh, we'll make it mutable, mutable, and we'll say it has one thousand sixes. So this is a vec, six thousand characters long, and then we say uh, big vec dot uh, push, and we're going to push a five at the end. So it's uh, six 1000 times and then it's followed by a five and then uh so let's um you know let's take a look inside it so let's put this iterator together and we'll call it uh big vec dot iter and instead of uh just iter we're going to add this rev and you can probably guess this means reverse 
So uh, now it'll make this into an iterator that starts at the five, then it goes to six and six and six. And uh, so rev is another super convenient method. And we can see, uh, we can prove this by saying, uh, let's say iterator.next. And that will get the, you know, the first item, it'll be a sum or a none, a sum or a none. And if we do that two times, we can see that there you go so it uh so it is uh indeed starting at the end so at first it gives us a five and then it starts with sixes and if we do this one thousand times more it'll keep on giving us sixes so now you can imagine that um you know if you uh for some reason you want to uh you know look for fives in in this vec and um let's say you uh Let's see, print line. How would you do that? You're using the, uh, you're using any again. So uh, we're going to print the result here, and we're going to say big vec dot iter, and then we're going to do any, just like we did, you know, two minutes ago, and we'll call it number, and we want to say number equals five. So if you do that, then it is going to. Uh, you know, it's going to start here and it's going to keep going. It'll check 1000 times. And then finally at the end, it's going to, you know, return true. So this, uh, you know, it looks pretty fast here, but uh, you know, what if you had like, you know, 100,000 uh, sixes, then, you know, it's, it's taking a little bit longer. If we make it a million, I don't know, maybe it's going to start to uh, slow down. Okay, it took 2.75 seconds. So, uh, you know, the best, uh, the best thing to do here is, uh, iter.rev and then, um, now it's going to start at item one and, uh, just send it back right away and it'll give you a true. And, uh, I had a, uh, an example to show, uh, you know, we can prove this and, uh, I don't feel like typing this all. So I'm just going to show you how this works. So we have the same, uh, the big vac, you have six, uh, you know, 1,000 sixes, we give it a five, then we set up a counter, and then um, then we make into an iterator. And then we're going to do this this classic, you know, loop where the counter goes up by one, and then uh, we're going to keep on going until, uh, until it breaks, and then it's going to give the counter. So it's going to say how many times it took. And you can see, so the final counter is 1001. So it, it uh, you know, the best thing to do is uh, rev. And then uh, this should uh, change the counter to uh, to one. And there you go. So you can see it's only uh, doing it once. So you, uh, anyway, think about that when, you, uh, when you're using uh, this method and uh, think about how your VEX work and maybe you can make them more efficient that way.